January 9th, 2012. Uh, I just completed my first fit camp at I Think Fit Gym. About halfway through the workout, I felt terrible. I was starting to doubt myself. I was like, I can't do it. Like, what did I just get myself into? Made all these promises that I was going to do really well in this competition. And I just felt sick. I just felt like I, maybe I can't do this. And uh, got a little bit, about a two minute break in between our workout and uh, got a second win and just started feeling awesome just started to feel like I picked up where I began. Uh, the second part didn't feel like something I had to do. It felt like something I wanted to do. So it's a good feeling. There? Oh, that energy stuff? I was going to send you a picture of that stuff. Did you see that? Creatine candy? I've seen it before. Like $4.99 a pack. Really? It's supposed to support muscle mass, muscle mass. Hi, everyone. It's Ryan Mann here in Omaha, Nebraska with I Think Fit Gym. It's day four of my 10 week transformation. I just got done with the night fit camp here at the gym and I'm smoked. Uh, first three days, um, Felt really good, uh, strong on the diet. Today, woke up a little bit this morning, and felt a little weak, and then after I got my first meal in me, started feeling a little bit better um, as the day's gone on. Uh, I've been doing day camps every day this week, so tonight was my first night camp, and uh, felt a little weak waiting for to work out all day, but as soon as I got here, got through my warm up, got all the lactic acid out of my legs, got all the soreness out, I felt great. I got through my workout, feel like every day um, I'm getting a little bit stronger, uh, have more strength, more endurance. Um, I'm not as winded by any means. Every day I'm getting better. Uh, I feel like I'm starting to keep up with the class. My biggest challenge this week since starting the transformation, um, you would think it would be going to the workouts, getting through the workouts, but it, it, that's not the hardest part. The hardest part for me so far has been diet, food preparation, making my meals, getting up to eat my meals spacing my meals out every two, two and a half hours. Um, I honestly thought that was probably going to be the easiest part. I thought the hardest part was going to be coming to the gym, going through the motions of being tired and being sore, but it's not at all. It's food prep, making sure you get those meals cooked for the next two days. It's following your diet to a regimen. What I really enjoy about uh, 
and like being a part of this so far this week is uh, the people. I mean, everyone here is just so positive and motivated to do better and be better, and it's a very uplifting, positive atmosphere that I'm surrounding myself in, and you can't really beat that. I mean, you can join anything, but I think joining a community at a gym is very positive for any person to be a part of. Truth. Same way. Two, eleven point two. All right, come on down. Put your shirt back on. Just gonna print us out a piece of paper here. We'll compare the two. See what we got. Here, well, but I'm pushing myself harder, so it. Every workout's hard. As hard as you make it. As hard it? as I make it, yeah. So you get in better shape, you're able to push yourself a little harder. Yeah, harder. yeah. Uh, got six workouts in this week, and then I got another one tonight. I'm already looking forward to it, so. There we go. All right, so let's see what happened here. So I've got last week, your initial weigh-in, and then a week later, your second weigh-in here. So let's take a look. Okay, this looks pretty good, buddy. Week one, we had 26.5% body fat, and over here on week two, 21.4% body fat. That's freaking crazy, man. <laughs> nice job. You can't expect it to come off much faster than that. Uh, let's look here. Body fat mass. Last week, you had 56 pounds of body fat, 45.2. You know what that is? Nine pounds of body, or 11 pounds of body fat off in one week, buddy. So yeah, that initial burst just kind of lost all that kind of slop weight you had on there. Look at this one, skeletal muscle mass, 89.3, all the way up to 96.3. Jeez, that's uh, what, seven pounds of muscle? Yeah. So you lost 11 pounds of fat and put on seven pounds of muscle in the first week alone. That's insane. Uh, water weight went up 113 to 121, and that's because as you build more muscle, your muscles comprised of mostly water, so it's expected to go up. So, very good. That's what we like to see. Weight's uh, the exact same. And then weight is the exact same. And so that's what's great about this in body because you might have been going through this effort and you would have saw 211 pounds, 0.2, exactly the same. 211.2 in the first week. You know, and if you didn't have this machine, you'd be like, God, I've been, you know, busting my butt and eating right. I haven't lost a pound. What's yeah, going on? That's what but I was kind of nervous with about. With this machine, we can see what really happened, what really goes into that scale weight. So... Awesome, man. I, that, is, that is phenomenal results right there for week one. So let's keep that momentum going. All right? All right Good work, buddy. buddy. Thanks, man.